All right, today we're going to be talking to you about the pushing and the pulling in the golf swing. Cool, Henry. So I see something in your hand. We don't normally have out here these... A golf club? Well, that, that's normally <laughs> here, but that exercise band is yep. not normally here. Okay. Well, it's usually in one of our bags, but it's not always out here in a video. Sometimes we'll use it in lessons, though. Yeah, right. we, we use it in lessons for sure. So let's talk a little bit about what we've got set up here. So you put a rod in the ground on an angle to hold the our stretch tubing. Yep. What are we going to talk about? How are we going to use this stretch tubing to teach people about the golf swing? Yeah, well, uh, as we know, there is some, right, there's some lateral movement in the golf swing, right? Do we like to see a lot of it? Preferably not for us, but... Yeah, not too much. I like to see a little off the ball early, yep. converted into rotary force. So there's some shifting, we'll There say. is definitely some shifting. There's got to be a little shifting because you got to get force moving side to side. Right. But overall, we kind of like to see a little bit more centered action. Yeah. But there's also some, some force going back and forth, right, on this other axis, yes. right, we can say. Away from the target line, like right. this. So we're kind of terming this pushing and pulling, but in reality, there's really kind of two pullings going on. You have your backswing, pull up into your backswing, and then as you get down, right, maybe this you could consider the push, but then there's again a pull back as you open up through impact. So you're kind of making this spiral we talk about. Yeah, so the, the backswing is mainly a kind of a pulling back of the right side, internal rotation of the right hip, mm -hmm. and it's created by kind of a, your right foot's pushing this way, so creating that, that. There you go. So that's pushing that way. Which creates that, the pull right. that I'm going to experience in my hands and arms. Just like when we push into this right side or kind of fall into this right side in the backswing, that pulls this back and around yes. or pushes this back and around. So again, however you want to term it, right, that's what we're kind of getting into today. Now, some of you guys at home may have seen, uh, whether it's other coaches or players, talk about um, sort of like pulling a lawnmower or starting a weed whacker, right? How you kind of pull this back and then pull it back again. And that's sort of the feeling you get to get in this this spine angle, get your short shoulders on a tilt and create that bend in the golf swing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, So this sure. is kind of what we have set up here. Sweet. So walk me through it. All I right, get well, to be the, I get to be, I don't ever get to exercise, so here we go. <laughs> I'm going to put this down here. I got this thing way in the ground, so it's so not going to come I out. I can't rip it out of the ground? Yeah. Okay, so for me, what the backswing needs to feel like, there's a little bit of a flowing motion and then a little pull and turn in my body like this. And I'm going to film on face on and do a little split screen so they can see this. Okay, so. There's not a ton of tension in that line, is there? Not a ton. So we could even make it a little softer if you wanted to feel even a little bit more maybe. Yeah. The one thing I want to make sure if people are going to do this is that they don't pull with their arm like yes. that. Yes. Because that, that can create some really bad habits in a golf swing if I start to pull my arms back. I right. want to feel like I'm, I'm using this hip and this oblique yes. to turn and bend me like this. Well, even in the first few motions, that's why I asked you, is the tension level okay? Because I noticed you weren't bringing your arms way up. And that's, that was probably because you were really trying to focus more on what your core's doing, your glutes are doing, your hips are doing, your legs are doing. I'm not trying I'm not trying to let my right arm do that. I'm trying to get my body to turn right. and get my arm soft. Right. So the the primarily the focus is right in here, right? In your core and your sternum. Yes. And That's you notice too when he's doing this is that there's a little bit of, again, that back motion, back, and then back, and back. So, and it, when yeah, he's I'm, doing that, his chest stays I'm not up pulling, and I'm not pulling this back by moving this forward. It won't, right. it won't pull it back. Right. So in order for me to get this to pull back, I've got to feel some back. This mm -hmm. is pushing back. Yeah. Or pulling back, whatever it, my, I feel like I'm using my foot to push this way, which pulls my butt back. Yeah. 
dominating the back chain. Yeah. <laughs> so this can be a good little exercise. You know, you could do it at your house if you put like one of those, uh, one of those screw eye hooks in a in a in a the, in a stud. In a stud. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't read your if mind. You put, if you put one of those eye hooks in a stud, I'm sorry, I'm not a builder. If you put it in a stud. And then you, you have some resistance bands at your house. That can be a really nice exercise. Or maybe you just go to the gym and do it. At a gym, they, you can set up a pulley system. Yeah. Cable cross machine, have them like this, and yep. feel how to do that. Right. So that can be a good way for you to feel, again, this, this sort of, you get in your roundedness here, and you really kind of pull open up in the backswing, but you're still in this incline, right? Mm -hmm. And your hips are deep, and you really turn. And then same way on the way through. So something that we really talk about in the golf swing. Sweet. Like it. Good exercise. Good feel. Yep.